Hi, this is Julie with Three Sister Sundries. I'm back today with a new Foundations Decor project. This is their new calendar. Um, for each month, there is a set that has the, the month and three pictures down at the bottom. It also, when you get a calendar, it comes with all of the numbers. Um, I've taken out a couple because I'm going to switch out. This is for the month of October. I know we're getting a little bit late for that, but it's still October. And um, so my daughter's birthday is on the 2nd, so I'm going to be doing a birthday tile. And then I'm going to be doing a uh, little spider for Halloween. So um, let's get started. Okay, I've got my little birthday tile up here first, and um, the calendar also comes with a bunch of little, little icons that you can use for special occasions. So this is a little birthday present, uh, birthday tile, so, and they've got new gooey stuff that hooks everything together, so oh, it's kind of tough. So I'm going to cover this with paper and then I'm going to put it on my little extra tile that goes on the calendar. Maybe I will do, I love this little birthday. I think I'll do the present with this and then do my little uh, bow with the stars. So first thing I need to do is glue. I'm going to use this zip dry. I really like this for these projects. Okay, so this will be the front. So I will put my glue on the front. And lay it on my trim around it. with my craft knife. And I think while we're gluing, I'll get this on also. Spread that around really good since this will be the top layer. I want to make sure that all the surfaces are covered or the whole surface is covered so it doesn't um, come off on the edges. Now I think since that is kind of an intricate shape, I'm going to roughly cut around it. I should have traced it on. Kind of forgot how to do these wood shapes for a minute here. So I'm just going to roughly cut around. Make sure I get in there. Now I will get my files and we'll file those off. Okay, I've got these finishing files. They are from Close to My Heart, but I will leave a link in the description box for a set of files on Amazon that I found. I haven't tried them, so but they are still finishing files. Uh, I have this, so we're just going to file the paper off the edge of this just like that. I also did a whole frame with the wood, one of the wood sets that I got from Foundations Decor that gives a little bit more detail on how to 
do this, how to cover wood with paper. So I will leave a link also to that video. So I'm just going to continue on doing this to this box and to my uh, little ribbon and I will be back when I'm finished. All right, I've got my two little pieces all covered. So I'm just going to glue my bow onto my package. Just going to put glue down here because that bow part is going to stick up a little bit. And then I will glue the package onto... I'm hoping this glue will hold. There's a bit of a finish on this wood tile here, so I don't know whether it will hold or not. Might have to use some stronger glue. But anyway, there's the little birthday tile. Put that in the number two. It can just dry there. The next one I'm going to do is the little Halloween. I have this little spider and I'm going to use the Photo Play um, Gnome for the Holidays Halloween collection. So I thought this cute spider web paper would be perfect for a spider. And I want to fussy cut some of this web. So I think I will do this corner up here and put this web right in the middle, if I can situate it right on the back. And let's kind of eyeball. That looks about right. So I will get this cut out and filed and be back when I am done with that. Okay, I've got my spider covered. It was super hard. <laughs> All those little legs. Anyway, I am going to add some eyes with my Nuvo Drops. Just some black Nuvo Drops. Um, I'll zoom in a little bit. Ah. Uh, my Nouveau drops are very old, and so I'm not uh, confident that they are going to look real great. Kind of gooey and stringy. I'm just going to do two eyes. There we go. I'll maybe pat those down a little bit. Except that just making it worse. <sighs> okay, we'll just let him have pokey eyes. And then I decided to get out my super tight to apply him to the little square. So, just a little bit on the back of that. And I think I'll put him at a little bit of an angle. He fits, but I love the little spider web paper on him. He's so cute. Okay, and then we'll. All right, I've got my board covered, and I'm going to use these cute little uh, spooky letters by making memories. These are old, really old. So I think I will lay them on my ruler on the edge here. Try and get some of my other stuff out of the way. And get all the letters out that I need. And I'm going to have to, like I said, Frankenstein to make an R because I don't have an R left. But, okay, so I just don't know how far apart I want everything. Let's 
see uh, T. I might use a different C. That green doesn't really match, but I think it will show up better. These are going to be all different sizes and styles and colors and stuff. Oh, shoot. Let's see. And the B. And an E. And here comes the... Okay, we're going to use a P. A really giant P. And let's see, what did I decide I could use? This X. So I need to cut off these little bits. And let's see, I need to cut that about right there. There is my R. <laughs> okay, let's decide where to put these on the board here. I don't think I want them spread out any farther than they are. But do I want them in the middle? Or if I put them in the middle, I can put some cute little gnomes on either side. Okay. And I noticed when I was looking at these, I have these cute little skull and crossbones. Maybe I could add. <laughs> okay, now let's see what stickers that I choose some. I don't remember. Oh my gosh, I love that witch. Might be too tall though. Um, maybe. Boil and boil, toil and trouble. Maybe on this end. Okay, I'm going to put this bat paper on this next board. So let me get it glued on and I will be back. Alright, my paper's on. And I'm going to put this haunted house sticker on. Um, I think down there. Okay. I think I'll set it off to one side because I want to put, maybe I'll put this little trick-or-treater gnome right here. Yeah, it's pretty cute. Maybe we can put a maybe just a trick or treat sticker phrase sticker here. All right, I'll put that one in. Okay, for this next one, I am going to put this cute argyle. So I will get that done and be right back. Okay, for the last board, I've put this adorable potions paper on here. And I found this cute card in the ephemera pack. It says, the witch is in. So I want to put that one on. Uh, 
Okay, and let's see if there's anything else we want to put on there with her. Uh, maybe a jack-o'-lantern. And uh, there's this adorable bat right here that maybe I can put on the edge of that. Oh gosh, so cute, so cute. I, pro I think I uh, filmed or did this whole board and looked up and looked like my camera was not filming. So I did that board off camera apparently. So there's the bottom. Oh, so cute and bright. And then here is our October with the little ghosty and the cute cauldron. So that is that. I will leave links to um, this calendar uh, from Foundations Decor. And also I have a playlist of my other foundations decor frame. I will leave a link to that also. And thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.